Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Martina and today I have a very fun project that I would like to make with you and it's inspired by two amazing crafters. So I will link both of their channels below. Uh, one of them is Wendy from Wendy's Journal Adventures and the other one is Maddie from Crafty Lore. And um i am very excited about this i love how this turned out so let me show you what we are going to be making so basically the idea behind this is using two envelopes to kind of make like a long pocket and then two flippy outy smaller pockets that are somehow attached to it and this idea is all Wendy and then Maddie from Crafty Lore she actually joined these like two smaller pockets uh, with uh, jump rings and eyelids and I absolutely love it. I love how it looks. I love how it feels. Um, so what we have here is we have those two pockets uh, and I added some um, some materials, some appliques. Um, these are part of my boho, spring boho journals. So I just wanted to make them boho and colorful and just very kind of luscious. <laughs> and they both flip like this. So we have uh, little labels just for a little bit of journaling or maybe annotating what's in the pocket. And then we have the long um, envelope. This is uh, an altered junk mail window envelope. Um, that is kind of the base of this. So here is another example of this. I'm going to have four journals, so I made three of these and the fourth one we are going to make together today. I love this idea, I've always loved it. Uh, Wendy has amazing, amazing ideas and Maddie is the one who introduced me to attaching things together with those jump rings and eyelids and I've been loving it ever since. <laughs> so thank you both to those wonder thank you to both of those wonderful ladies for their amazing inspiration and yeah let's start. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay so what I have is a junk mail window envelope and it doesn't matter how tall it is because I'm going to cut it so that it fits my uh, journal pages and then I have have just the most regular envelope, um, no window, no anything, just the most regular size that I'm going to cut in half and use it as the flip out pockets. So let me check first how tall I want my pocket to be. I don't remember, 18 centimeters. So for me, I'm going to cut the big one to 18 centimeters and it's slightly um, shorter than my journal pages. My journal pages are about 20 centimeters so I'm allowing uh, this like two centimeter in between just to make sure it sits comfortably on the page. But first before I cut it I'm going to slit it open so I'm just going to cut the tiniest bit on this size on this side <laughs> and then 18 centimeters so it's about seven inches tall like this so this is going to be my base and for the small envelope oops i'm going to fold it in half because i checked before that half of this is perfect as one of those smaller pockets so I'm just folding it in half and cutting it just like that. Okay. So we have our kind of base and uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to shut those uh, or glue those close because if you weren't using those jump rings and eyelids like this, then uh, you could use the flap of the envelope as a hinge. So let me show you. You would glue the flap on the other side and then it would just open like this. But because I'm going to use my jump rings, I don't need these, these flaps open. So I'm going to glue 
them down before I uh, start decorating just because it makes it easier this way and to decorate them I'm going to use some fussy cut flowers uh, I love my fussy cut flowers and I think they are kind of a theme for this journal as well as some uh, of those Indian fabric appliques I'm going to find something that I love and for the background I'm going to use my usual mix of papers so um, so some printables some book pages uh, some pages from my own kit uh, from my own kit spring garden and yeah that's the kind of regular mix that i have and so i have my two pockets i'm just making sure where they are open where the top sort of is so let me put this aside for a moment and i'm going to start tearing a few pieces of of different papers and uh, by the way if you are new here uh, I'm so happy you joined me uh, if you would like to follow along as we make our boho spring journals I will have the whole playlist linked for you below uh, we basically make uh, like very luscious and very boho uh, looking journals together from start to finish basically. So um, do check it out if you are interested. Now I think I'm going to use this. This is uh, from Tailor Made Journals. So I'm just tearing a few pieces of paper as usual, uh, pieces that I think I might like to use. I like to have them kind of prepared before I start organizing them on, on the pages. Oh, I have a piece of this, I like it. So I may, I may use it as well. And the ter tearing ruler that I'm using I got from Amazon and the brand is Joy Craft. It's so great for just tearing um, your paper so quickly and it gives you this nice irregular edge. I love this ruler. Okay, so let me see kind of if I have enough and we can... Um, I'm going to have this one maybe on the bottom for no particular reason really and I could make them kind of like this and then we would have a piece like this maybe here and I need some more or of something uh, so maybe some more, do I want some more Edith Holden? Um, or something else, let me see what I have. I should have some pieces of music paper, some scraps. So maybe I will use these, I also have these scraps of pretty book pages. But let's see if this if this is enough. So we would have this here and this like this. So this should be perfect. And then I am just going to tear a piece off. Of this music paper scrub as well. Okay. So now I am going to very quickly ink up the edges of my scraps, especially those that I believe might be visible, um, might be on top of the other scraps. So I think I'm actually um nearing the like the end of this project um i think the journals are almost ready uh, i have one more 
very fun interactive element um, that I already made three uh, copies of and we will make the fourth one together. So this is what I still want to do kind of before uh, before I finish the journals and I will then uh, place all the items you know within the signatures and see if see if there is basically just let me see I don't remember how I put this I think it was like this maybe something along these lines yeah I think I could go with this so yeah so I will see if I want some more pockets maybe or some more interactive elements these journals are going to be fully or not fully there is still going to be a lot of space uh, for the owners to make their own but there is going to be oh my goodness this is so crooked <laughs> there is going to be a lot of fun elements in those journals okay now maybe this big one Okay. So how are you guys doing? I would love to know. Are you guys okay? What are you working on? What creative projects are you currently working working on? I'm always interested. <laughs> So I want to finish these four boho journals and I am actually thinking of making a few more kind of spring slash summery ones that would be um, where's my scissors okay uh, that would be that would not be embellished like at all so I would just make the covers uh, or try to make the covers you know as beautiful as possible and then um, I would add uh, gorgeous papers inside and that would be it so this would be uh, much more affordable and also would allow more creativity I suppose uh, if you are someone who likes to just uh, make the journals your own from start to finish and yeah I'm also excited about this because I love painting covers these are going to be hard covers hand painted with some mixed media work on them with some beautiful I have actually an idea of the images kind of that I want to put in um, put in the the windows on the front covers uh, so I think you guys are going to like them. I love playing with mixed media. I haven't done it in a while. Maybe I will add some charms to the spine to decorate those a little bit more, but the inside is going to be for the owner of the journal to decorate as they wish. So before I do those, actually, I think I need to uh, tea stain a whole lot of papers because it's going. I, I I've been uh, living here in this apartment since, or I've lived here in this apartment since um, September last year, and I haven't once had to uh, tea stain or coffee stain my pages here and my papers because I had such a large stack of them ready but now I've pretty much run out and so I definitely need 
to taste in some more. Okay, you guys, so for these, <coughs> excuse me, I think I just want some appliques. Like, let me see. What do we have here? I could have a piece of some, uh, some delicate fabric or some lace, something like this, just kind of to add to the background. I love this one. I love this one. So I get, I got all of those pieces of Indian sari fabrics from Etsy, and they came in, um, in like. A, like a set of scraps and I am loving them. Okay, I love this so much. And I'm thinking, can I find something that would sort of match it? Let me see if, if I cut a piece of this. Will it look nice here? Do they match, you guys? Do they match? Or let me check my... I'm just trying to find something. Because this is stunning, both of those. <laughs> and I'm definitely going to use them. But let me just see Ooh, how beautiful is this. I, I just, I can't. But I think I want something um, like similar for both of those. Or from the same, you know, piece of material. So I'm just going to see if I have a large enough piece that I can cut into into two without like losing um, the design. Oh, we have those two flowers. Actually, let me just see the color. Feel. like I could use this and then a flower from this one and it would still look nice even if they are not from the same um, from the same piece of fabric okay hmm. or do I want another one of these but i love this so much i don't know i'm kind of like i'm not throwing anything away i'm definitely going to be using all of those this is gorgeous oh i love it maybe i will go back to this idea let me check one last time if i have something in my box unfortunately i can't bring this box um to the camera it's <laughs> it's huge but i have all of those packed here Ooh, look at this you guys it's beautiful and natural beautiful and magical Ooh, this one Like, um, I am loving uh, playing with these fabrics so much and I still have a lot of beautiful pieces left that I think I am going to make like a second collection, maybe uh, maybe a summer one, summer one. Sorry for the noises. Oh, here is, by the way, here is the shop that I got this uh from and this is is there a name of the shop here somewhere but basically it's love me blue uh one word and it's on etsy okay i don't think i'm going to look further i just think i love this too much <laughs> to not use it So, uh, for this, I am going to use my hot glue. Let me just plug in my hot glue gun. 
Uh, and I'm also going to remember where I want my eyelids to be. So this one is going to open like this, so my eyelids will be on this side. So I'll make sure to leave a little bit of space here. And then, how do I want this one? Like this maybe, or this way. Ooh, I love it, I love it, they are so cute. So, so cute. Uh, I think I am also going to stitch around uh, like those three sides to make sure all the pieces are stuck properly. And then we will go ahead and decorate this one. So is my hot glue hot already? Just a little bit more time. So in the meantime, let me just grab all those. And I'm not throwing away even the tiniest scraps, of course. These fabrics are just too precious <laughs> to throw away. Mm -hmm. And now I think I'm just going to... Use a little bit of glue to first attach the lace. I'm trying to be careful here not to burn myself. It's not very hot yet. <laughs> I think it still would need a little bit more time, but it's sticking. Like my my pieces are stuck, so that's good enough for me. And I want yeah, I want it like this and this one here mm -hmm. so hot glue of course does add a little bit of bulk uh, but because we have those all those crystals I mean that's Hot glue is not my biggest issue when it comes to bulk. And also with these journals, I'm honestly not too worried about the bulk. I want them chunky. These for journals, uh, I really want them chunky and just full of stuff. Um, okay, so we have one pocket and we have the other pocket and I love them. So these two let's leave them leave them aside for a moment and then here um, what would i like to use kind of as the um, not this perhaps but how about I just take maybe a piece like this. So let's tear here. Mm -hmm. And here. So these papers are from my spring garden kit. And you can check it out in my Etsy shop if you're interested. I think I'm actually going to put my kids on sale uh, for the rest of the week just to say thank you uh, to all of you who have supported me during the time when I couldn't craft and I was just um, in a very bad place but so many of you guys just got my kids and this means the world to me so I think I'm, I'm, I will try to remember to put them on sale today but if not and <laughs> if you are interested in purchasing them please remind me in the comments um, all of them will be on sale probably for the rest of the week until the, the weekend hmm, so I'm going to start with this big piece and then I can add some smaller pieces. 
I'm only going to be decorating the front of this envelope, not the back, because uh, the back is going to be glued to the page. However, if you don't want to glue, uh, glue it if you want to be uh, like a floating, <coughs> excuse me, like a floating element, then um, I would decorate the back a little bit in such case. Just maybe uh, cover it with tea stain paper so there is journaling space on the back. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And let me perhaps use a piece of book page, something I have here already. Mm -hmm. I like it. And then here we are going to add a flower or two. And do I have any fabrics? on the inside. No, I just have the flower. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and I didn't ink this edge, but thankfully it's not glued too well. So I can still ink it here where, where it goes to the window. I am going to put something in the window as well. Some kind of paper that matches. And again, I'm only inking the sides that are going to be visible. Oh, you guys, it feels so great to be back to crafting. I'm not like 100% there yet, you know, with, um, with everything. I am slowly getting back to myself, I would say, after, uh, after being sick for for a long time but it feels absolutely great and just so right you know to be back to crafting to be back to chatting with you and i think a part of this a part of why uh like a part of what helped me get back to um to the swing of things <laughs> is um, I've started moving more and um, I think I mentioned it in the last video but uh, Derek my boyfriend and I we got ourselves uh, bicycles and this honestly was the best decision ever I don't know why I haven't done it before like Krakow is a place where it's a city which is very bicycle friendly. So there is a lot of um, those, what would you call them? Those routes or those lanes that are for bicycles only. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I think I need to blow my nose. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, so very bicycle friendly. There is a lot of, um, of those routes that are uh, just for bicycles. Uh, so it's safe it's comfortable and it's just so great and we've been especially me i've been building my stamina back very slowly but steadily with uh, those bicycle rides and i'm enjoying it so so much so and just a bicycle is just an amazing thing <laughs> okay now this um orange here is throwing me off a little bit so let's see if i have a piece of paper that would look good here uh, but wouldn't be too much so to speak uh, wouldn't be too busy maybe oops um <laughs> there's so much scraps of papers around me here but I'm sure I will find something. Do I like this? Oh. I will or I won't. <laughs> this one maybe. <clears throat> yeah, actually, I think I'm going to go with a piece of this. And I'm just going to glue this piece straight to the back uh, 
inside of my envelope. <coughs> So we are very much enjoying our bike rides and now we are kind of trying to figure out if there is a way that we can take our Zuzia, our doggo, with us because she, well she's not a type of dog that would run alongside of you or when you jog or when you ride on a bike she's not the kind of dog she's just, maybe she's too young, I don't know, but she is so interested in everything all around and she would just when I try to like kind of run a little bit with her she just um, gets uh, like from left to right and then I'm afraid I will step on her and I would definitely not want to risk riding a bicycle with her but um, we are trying to figure out if there is maybe a way that we can take her with us maybe on like um in in a little basket something like this i don't know if she would be very happy to sit in a basket uh while i drive uh, uh, ride is it the correct word for for a bicycle is it riding it's not driving but i'm not sure is it cycling I don't know. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for something that would look nice here. But then I'm not sure. Because we have this flower, so maybe I would just take a few of those wild flowers that I cut <coughs> using... Um, Tim holds dies. Yeah, maybe I will just make a little bouquet out of these. Um, so I cut them using Tim Holtz wildflower dies and uh, craft cardstock. So now I just need my my wet glue, but one which is more precise. Than oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, sorry guys for the, all the noises. Uh, I think I dropped one of my little containers from my desk, but that's okay. I will pick it up. Uh, pick it up. Whoa, that's a lot of glue in a moment. This one is almost over. Oh my goodness. Good thing this uh, glue dries clear, <laughs> so if I mess up a little bit, it's not going to show. Mm -hmm. Right. And here. And I like it kind of going over the window then one of those i don't know what these are are they dandelions maybe they are uh-huh now i could have it here like this and the other one maybe like this uh -huh. yeah I want it shorter okay I love it I love it all right so the next step, for me at least, is going to be stitching around uh, with my sewing machine. So, what am I going? What I am going to do is, I'm going to first of all find my uh, my smaller pockets here, 
So I am going to take this to my sewing machine and stitch along those three edges. And then the same here, so those three edges, those three edges, and then we will continue with this project. Okay, so the pockets are stitched and uh, one last thing that I want to do before uh, starting with our eyelids and starting with joining them is I want to make the edges stand out more. So for these front pockets I'm going to use my gold uh, gilding wax and I'm going to, as per usual, go very messily and very quickly around uh, the edges with my finger. And make them pop this way and for the um, for the back envelope for the, the larger envelope I think I'm just going to uh, use my vintage photo now I like the messy look but if you don't then I'd probably suggest using like a paintbrush or maybe a sponge to to do this but I don't mind the messy look at all <laughs> okay so there's that and and that <coughs> excuse me Now, let me see, let me measure where did I put my eyelids on the smaller pockets. So they are about 8 centimeters tall and I have an eyelid at 2 centimeter mark and 6 centimeter mark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fine liner, make sure I have the right way up and mark two centimeters and six centimeters on this one and on the other side I'm going to do the same two centimeters and six and I only need to mark the smaller pockets there's no need to make any marks so far on the larger ones. So now I'm going to to use my um, what is this? Crocodile. My crocodile to make the holes at two and six centimeters. Is it? Did I mark it correctly? Oh, okay. Yeah, I did. I'm just not looking at the right mark. <laughs> there is some marking on the uh, paper all already, so it kind of threw me off. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to clean those holes like this. Alrighty. And the next thing is we can now place our pockets where we want them this way up so I'm going to leave a little bit of space between them and also a little bit of space top and bottom and now I'm going to make my markings through those holes here so I know when where exactly to punch my holes in in this big pocket One, two, three, and four. Okay, time to add our eyelids. And I think I'm going to use uh, those kind of decorative ones. I don't know if you can see. Oops, but they have this like a uh, little no you probably can't see or maybe this little pattern on them so i need two and 
and four for one of the pockets and I need one, two, three and four for the other pocket. So eight eyelids. Now I'm going to use my crocodile again to close them. And the crocodile is just a great tool for doing that. I love it so much. I think I've said it many times before, but it's not the cheapest, but it's one of the best uh, investments that I made into my crafting. It, I use it all the time and it's one of those tools that if it ever broke down, which I hope won't happen, but if it ever did, I would immediately buy another one because I just, I love it and I use it all the time. Do you guys have tools like that? You know, tools that you use all the time uh, and that you would buy the second one in a blink of an eye if something happened to the first one. <laughs> Tell me, tell me what are your favorite crafting tools? Tell me in the comments below. I would love to know. Mine is my crocodile for sure. What else? Oh, my tearing ruler, definitely. My big scissors. Uh, I love them so much. I even fussy cut with them, but they are like, they are huge, you guys. They are huge. <laughs> okay, and the next thing... What am I doing? Okay, and the next thing is I have my jump rings and I'm going to use two per eyelid. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do the sort of the first one and then I'm going to stop the camera and do the rest of camera. But my uh, jump rings are... Let me measure them for you. Are seven millimeters uh, large or small? <laughs> and um, yeah. so, unfortunately, I only have one pair of those twe tweezers. So I need. I definitely need the second one. So I'm just going to open the jump ring, close it on the eyelet. Take the second one, thread it through this jump ring that I already have here, through the second eyelid and close it. And so here it is, you guys, my first one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm, I thought that was a little bit too quick. I mean, wh wh what is that? <laughs> oh no, okay, so I am going to open this again <laughs> oh my goodness so it would be great to decorate those before you add your jump rings but i'm going to have to make do can i pull them out okay i can oh no so i'm going to pull out my my um eyelids but they are not wasted. I use closed eyelids um, to bump up something, so I'm definitely keeping those. And now, oh, oh geez, okay, so <laughs> I'm certainly not back at it yet, uh, but that's totally fine. Um, what could I use? I would like to use something that would match this would look nice mm -hmm. so i think i'm just going to go and use this beautiful paper for my pockets so let me take my wet glue and i'm not going to do much for uh for like the back of it I'm just going to use scrapbooking cardstock to make them a little bit more sturdy, those pockets. And also I'm going to maybe add um, a couple of labels on them. 
just a little bit of journaling space. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So here is one and two. me I knocked my camera so here is my, where my big scissors come in handy <laughs> I really love those they make cutting especially like straight lines so quick mm -hmm. and so normally um, I would have also stitched through this. Maybe I will do it actually, you know, maybe I will run my sew it through my sewing machine once more and just stitch through it so that this way I will make sure that uh, the piece of scrapbooking paper is attached perfectly to the back of my pockets. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am going to first of all make it more even <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to go to my sewing machine <clears throat> and stitch through it again. Okay, so these are stitched around. So what I'm going to do now and I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to punch holes exactly where I have those first holes. I'm going to put my eyelids on. I'm going to maybe add little labels to the back and I'm going to uh, use my jump rings to join those just the way I showed you guys the first time. And I'm going to be back with you in a sec. Okay guys, so our little project for today is finished. Um, so we have our two pockets, they open on top, both of them. <coughs> and then they flip like this. I added scrapbooking paper and uh, little labels. They are joined um, with the main sort of pocket by uh, eyelets and two jump rings each. <coughs> and then there is the window pocket here and I'm going to glue it on my page probably along these three sides so it's also open on the back it just gives more space to put things uh, in it and let me just show you the uh, details here hope it's not too light <clears throat> I will try to maybe edit it uh, out but yeah, thank you so much for crafting with me uh, today. I hope you enjoyed this project. Do visit the two um, ladies' channels who inspired these, uh, who inspired this project. So Wendy and Maddie. Um, the links are in the description box. And yeah, I will see you very very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.